Elimination Chamber 2023 got me feeling a wave of emotions. The last pay-per-view stop or premium live event stop before WrestleMania goes Hollywood. And there is so much to talk about on this show. So let's get right into it. First off, we're going to start off with the Women's Elimination Chamber, which I got all my predictions pretty much right. I predicted them all on Instagram. Got them all right except for the Lesnar match. And Asuka was my pick to win. She won the women's match. One of the best women's Elimination Chamber matches. I've seen some cool stuff in here. Nikki Cross jumped off the top of the pod. Nikki got sent through the pod by Raquel Rodriguez. Liv Morgan hit a sunset flip off the top of the pod to Raquel Rodriguez. That was great. They're trying to make her like the female Jeff Hardy with all this extreme stuff. Keep it coming. Some interesting stuff. Liv Morgan got kind of done dirty. She got uh, submitted by Asuka and Natalia at the same time. She passed out to the pain, which is cool, but I thought she should have been like final two final three but I guess they wanted the face heel dynamics with Asuka so they had Asuka and Carmella in the final two Asuka got the win with the Asuka lock so that was a pretty good match Asuka and Bianca Belair very fresh match at Wrestlemania first time ever I believe so that's gonna be really cool and then the next match was Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley now I thought this was gonna be the Wrestlemania match and seeing how it turned out it might be but I'm kind of done with Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar having matches can we just not anymore? We saw Bray Wyatt did a little tease. He said he would be coming for whoever won this match. And we didn't get a definitive winner here. We had Brock Lesnar get locked in the Hurt Lock. He low blowed Lashley because he was on the verge of tapping. Then he attacked the referee from disqualifying him. He put Lashley through the table with an F5 and then f 5 the ref. So is he going to be suspended or something? Usually that's what happens. You get suspended if you attack an official. So that's really weird what they did with this. Again, another Brock Lesnar match where it's just finish a fest and just it's just super formulaic. You see it too much. I, I don't want any more Lashley Lesnar matches. Honestly, I would prefer it to be Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar first time ever at WrestleMania. So hopefully we get that. But again, they left it like unfinished here so we'll see what they do maybe like a big triple threat but i don't know how you get there with lashley lesnar and wyatt so we'll see what happens there or imagine if they have these two team up against uncle howdy and bray wyatt that'd be kind of interesting but i don't know how you get there but we'll see what happens with that i just don't want to see lashley and lesnar again then we got the mixed tag match we had edge and beth phoenix versus judgment day rhea ripley and finn Balor. and this crowd was absolutely chaotic they were chanting f you dominic throughout the whole match dominic kind of crotched beth phoenix on the rope kind of trying to do some dirty tactics there and how cool is it that edge and beth in this new run for Edge, they get to team up. Like, that's really awesome for them and their family. Their kids get to see that. That's really cool. So, yeah, Edge and Beth won, like I predicted, in Canada, where Edge is from. And, yeah, so Finn and Edge, are we going to continue this? Again, they're, they're really running through feuds for a long period of time, like Edge and Finn and Brock and Lashley. But some of these, I just want to see some fresh stuff, you know? So, Edge and Finn, I heard rumblings that it was going to be a Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania, that would at least make it worth it for me to see them wrestle again. So it looks like that's probably going to be what's happening. But honestly, they could just end it right here after what happened. And then we got the, I believe it was the United States Championship Elimination Chamber match. Again, another great Elimination Chamber matches. One of the best Elimination Chamber matches I have seen. A lot of great talent in here. Everybody had a moment to shine. Bronson Reed looked good here. He like lifted up Seth and Johnny Gargano hit him with a Samoan drop at the same time. We had Austin Theory. He tried to muscle up Bronson Reed, and I was so worried. I thought it was going to be another Rick Boog situation where he's going to snap his knee or something. I was so worried, but he muscled him up. He got him up, and that was super impressive there. We also had, like, Seth Rollins jumped off the top of the rope, hit Johnny Gargano when he was on the shoulders of Bronson Reed, and then did a poison runner to Bronson Reed. That was pretty crazy. Then we had Montez Ford, who was the MVP of this match he looked really good and for a minute I thought he was gonna win the title he was hanging from the top of the
the chamber and he like hung upside down and then dropped onto everybody so really cool match also a uh, hurricanrana off the top of the pod from uh, Johnny Gargano to Seth which was really cool so yeah a lot of cool moments in this match great match we had Logan Paul come in and attack Seth Rollins buckshot lariat hit him with a stomp and as soon as Montez Ford got like carted out of the ring and they opened up the doors, I knew somebody was going to come out and I thought Logan Paul would come out and set up the Mania match with Seth. So that is going to be really cool. Like I was thinking it would be Logan Cena. I was on Logan and Cena way before anybody started speculating that about WWE WrestleMania. And I have that coming up uh, on WSC WrestleMania coming soon. But yeah, this one, this match is going to be really cool. Seth and Logan, that's really awesome. And then we got Austin Theory retaining the title as he should. I'm big Austin Theory fan and I hope to see John Cena versus Austin Theory. Hopefully Cena can make it to WrestleMania. That could be a really cool match. I heard they did like a little pre-tape uh, segment, maybe setting up a WrestleMania match. I heard John Cena's filming in Australia right now on a movie, so I don't know how much he'll be able to show up on TV for WWE in the build-up, but yeah, that was really cool. Great show so far. Then we got to the main event, the main event that we were all awaiting and anticipating. A huge match on the road to WrestleMania. We had Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. Great storyline for the past year. And this was a great one. The crowd in Montreal, Sami Zayn's hometown, was incredible. They were destroying Roman Reigns with the FU Roman chants. Uh, they were loving Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn brought the old theme back. Love it. And yeah, they basically stood in the ring for like five minutes not doing anything, not touching at all, and the fans were just going wild. It was incredible, and such a good match, such a good, like, just ups and downs of emotions through it all, like, so many good near falls in it. Sammy's family was there in the front row. It was a great match, and in the end, we had a bunch of shenanigans, two referee bumps, referees got taken out, Jim Uso came out, he had a bunch of super kicks and an Uso splash that still wasn't enough to keep Sammy down. Sammy kicked out of a spear, I believe, and then Jay came out, and that was interesting. Jay came out, and he was just kind of standing there. He wasn't, like, making any decision on what he was going to do. Looked like he was kind of distracting Roman. Roman handed him the chair to hit Sammy with it but it looked like he, he he was contemplating hitting Roman and then Sammy went to spear Roman but he got Jay instead and then Roman started unloading with the chair shots on Sammy spears him one two three Roman Reigns retains and honestly a lot of people wanted to see Sami Zayn win here but Roman definitely should not lose the title before WrestleMania because you know he's at 900 days this historic championship run should not end at Elimination Chamber when WrestleMania is just right around the corner. Now, what are we going to do with Sami Zayn at WrestleMania? Is Sami Zayn going to be in the world title match? Is he going to be added in? Is it going to be a triple threat with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns? Or are we going to do Kevin Owens who returned after the match to save Sami? He, he stunned everybody, stunned uh, Paul Heyman, Jimmy and Roman. Sami hit a little kick on Roman at the end. Uh, is it going to be Sammy and KO versus the Usos for the tag titles? Hopefully the main event of night one and then Roman and Cody night two. That would be probably, I think that's their plans. Hopefully, I think that's uh, the best way to go because I think the tag match would actually be really awesome. And I don't want like Cody to get his moment kind of squandered by you know Sammy as well. Although I think a triple threat match would be awesome too. But we'll have to wait and see what they do there. I thought Jay was going to turn on Sammy and that would set up the tag match. Maybe because there's six weeks left to Mania, they want to drag it out a little bit. But, you know, there's so many interesting things going on. We'll see what happens with Sami Zayn. If he's going to be in the world title match or the tag match. Comment down below. I want to know what you guys prefer. Do you want Sami Zayn to be in the triple th in a triple threat at Mania for the title? And do you want him to win? Do you think he should win? Or do you think Roman should retain Cody to win? Or do you think Sami should be with Kevin Owens and versus the Usos? Because I think that would be 
a great main event for night one because other than other than that possibility it would be the women's match charlotte and Rhea at a main event and i'd honestly prefer to see the tag match because i think that tag match actually sounds really awesome so yeah that's what i would prefer to see i will be there live at sofi stadium in la for wrestlemania be wearing the wsc shirt so if you are going comment down below let me know and you can say what's up if you see me there but i'm super excited for wrestlemania maybe i might do a, a vlog or something or just film some stuff there to show you guys but i'm super excited for wrestlemania it's gonna be a lot of fun this show was great elimination chamber 2023 probably the best elimination chamber pay-per-view that i've seen this was great two great elimination chamber matches this match was kind of a uh, it was kind of whack this match was great also they hit the shatter machine for the win that was great there too we also had uh michael cole take a shot at tony khan with the whole ariel helwani situation on commentary that was pretty funny and we had the uh joker they're doing the wrestlemania trailers again we had joker and batman with becky lynch and seth Everyone loved it. I think it was a little it was a little odd because Becky was not even like dressed as Batman. I don't know if they if they can get away with doing her in like a full Batman suit or something to or if they just want to be different. I think Seth, I always wanted I always thought Seth was like the Joker as well. I wanted him to be uh, Joker Seth Rollins instead of Joker Braun Strowman in that multiverse thing that we did in WSC. But I think he pulled that off great. That was really awesome. Joker's one of my favorite movies of all time that 2019 joker but yeah that was really cool the wrestlemania trailers so i'm super excited for wrestlemania this was a great show comment down below what you thought of this show do you did you think Sami Zayn should have won now will Sami Zayn go to the main event or the tag match comment down below let me know and i'll see you guys on the next video